bright duty every student matters next we come to the oxygen cycle now the moment the word oxygen is being coined we understand that it is of utmost importance because animals we human beings cannot survive without oxygen now why is it because oxygen is required for respiration now oxygen is not only required for respiration oxygen is also required for combustion oxygen is also required for many other biological processes now let us study how this oxygen cycle is maintained in the atmosphere we will come back to the diagram later on let's see the explanation the sequence in which oxygen from the atmosphere is used by organisms and eventually released back into the atmosphere through photosynthesis is called oxygen cycle oxygen makes up 21% of the air and it is an essential constituent of carbohydrates proteins fats and nucleic acid so we see that it is such of utmost importance that all the nutrients that we take we require for our survival requires oxygen as one of the most important part oxygen is also found in air in combined form like carbon dioxide on the earth crust is carbonate sulfates nitrates so we see all different kinds of metals and non metals are in combination with oxygen plants and animals use atmospheric oxygen during respiration and the releases release the same during photosynthesis so what does the plants do they take in or they the animals take in oxygen for respiration plants also take in oxygen for respiration they utilize oxygen for respiration whereas it is only the plants that give out oxygen as a waste through the process of photosynthesis fossil fuels requires oxygen for combustion so we see that oxygen is so very important another most important factor that we find about oxygen is that the ozone layer that is present in stratosphere that is at a higher altitude of atmosphere one of the layer of atmosphere each molecule of ozone is made up of three oxygen atoms the ozone layer prevents harmful radiations from reaching the earth surface where they might damage life forms so what does the ozone layer do it is present in the stratospheric level so these ozone layer blocks the harmful ultraviolet radiation which are being coming from the sun's rays now this harmful ultraviolet radiation are being blocked by the ozone layer which is made up of oxygen atoms three oxygen atoms it has a formula of o3 makes up ozone molecule so we see that oxygen is of utmost importance and the balance and the requirement of oxygen on the earth is of immense now how the balance is maintained the balance is maintained by the process of photosynthesis it is only through the process of photosynthesis that the oxygen is given out into the atmosphere and which tends to maintain the balance from this i hope you had understood why every time we make a stress of stopping deforestation and to increase the vegetation and increase reforestation to an extensive way because it is only the plants which can keep the balance of oxygen in the atmosphere because it is only plants who utilizes carbon dioxide and oxygen is released as a waste they also utilizes oxygen for respiration but they also give out huge amount of oxygen to the atmosphere thereby keeping the balance of oxygen in the atmosphere so if i have to explain you the diagram the atmospheric oxygen is taken in for respiration it is taken in for combustion it is taken in for making of carbonates sulfates it is taken it is an integral part of carbohydrates proteins nucleic acids so on and so forth now oxygen is taken in along with ox is utilized in respiration what is given out carbon dioxide and water so these are two things which has been given out now these carbon dioxide and water is then taken in by the plants for photosynthesis and then after photosynthesis the plants gives out oxygen and this oxygen again is taken up by the organism so we find there is a cyclic order that means there is a cyclic dependency of respiration and photosynthesis which is capable of 
maintaining the oxygen cycle. I hope with this, all the four different biochemical cycles are clear to you.